Oh, Phil Collins, baby. Where are you? There you go. Hi. <laughs> Yours would be, uh, don't call it love. For the love of God, don't write another song about love. <laughs> I think you are confusing love with the actual emotion of utter disappointment. That is your life. <laughs> Billy Idol, um, you are uh, going to be two doors down. As in the cereal bar is two doors down, please go. <laughs> oh, and whose parent is Steve? Steve, is that your name? Oh, honey. Honey, I don't actually have a song for you, but you can have any one <coughs> off of my gospel albums. Any one you want, it is yours. Uh, bridge over troubled waters, take it. I got it. That's yours, baby. It's yours. <laughs> However, I will give you some parenting advice. As I am not a parent, but I am the godmother to Miss Miley Cyrus, you know, that stellar human being, stellar. And I just want you to know that with enough honest parenting and money, your child can turn out to twerk fantastically. <laughs> Axel, my leg. I felt like you deserved more than one song, more than one song. So, you will be, here you come again, Heartbreak Express. Why'd you come in here looking like that? <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, I will always love you. <laughs> Dolly Parton, everybody, all right. Coming up next to our stage, one of the most successful Jews in the history of rock and roll. So successful, in fact, that he recently picked up a football team. He bought it because he was running low on reality TV shows. So, God, I think I just want to cut his tongue out, dip it in gold, wear it to the next gathering. Please put your hands together for Mr. Gene Simmons. <laughs> I had a tooth removed earlier today. <laughs> it just won't, it won't, oh, I'm sorry. It just, uh... <laughs> I am a Jew. Did you know that? Did you know that I'm a Jew? I'm a Jew. I was born in Israel, which is very Jewy. <laughs> because I'm a Jew. So we're clear. Rock is dead. Look at all these pieces of shit on stage. What more proof do you need? All of you guys wanted to be in KISS. KISS is the greatest band in the world. All of you guys had Gene Simmons posters. Except for Lemmy. Libby's lived in a bar for 30 years and thinks it's still 1975. Yeah. <laughs> Violent Jay. Nice makeup. <laughs> oh. You were a great reason uh, as to why Rock is dead. You sampled your name from a Kevin Smith movie. You stole my fucking makeup. <laughs> and you stole the musical stylings of Kid Rock and Limp Bizkit. <laughs> Even I want to see your fans in a holocaust. <laughs> David Byrne's here tonight. Tonight for David Byrne is much like his career. Surrounded by talented musicians wondering what the fuck he's doing on stage. <laughs> Same as it ever was. <laughs> oh, we have a concerned parent in the audience tonight. You should be concerned. I am evil incarnate. I am what comes for your daughter in the night. 
I am what comes on your daughter in the night. I fucked your daughter. She's what we call in KISS, a groupie. Billy is idol is here. Idol, really? You think you're an idol? You're not an idol. KISS are idols. I am an idol. You're the worst punk I've ever seen. It's like you had a time machine and you only used it to go to the future to buy shit from Hot Topic. I should know. Courtney Love is here. Courtney Love, let me explain something to you. KISS is the greatest rock band in the world. We've had sex with tens of thousands of women. And no one in KISS would fuck Courtney Love. What the fuck else can I say? Oh, Kurt Cobain. Hey, Kurt Cobain, fuck you. When you became MTV's chosen one, you killed all of my friends' careers. Then you killed yourself. Which is a terribly missed opportunity. I could have sold you a kiss coffin. Go to www.kisscoffins.com. <laughs> your big album was known as Nevermind. That's also what's inscribed on your tombstone. <laughs> hey, Slash is here. He's been clean and sober for 14 years. It doesn't explain why he was in a band with Scott Whiteland. <laughs> Also, it doesn't explain why he still dresses like a junkie steampunk fan. <laughs> Where's the top hat, douche? <laughs> hey, Rob Halford's here in case anyone was wondering what it would be like if Lemmy were gay. <laughs> Allegedly. It really changes the name of the word motorhead. <laughs> Phil Collins is here for some reason. <laughs> I've got some great news for Phil Collins, though. He's picking up some drumsticks again soon, guys. That's right. I've hired him at my new chicken restaurant, MeanJeansChickenWings.com. <laughs> Go to MeanJeansChickenWings.com. <clears throat> you should try the uh, Dolly Parton combo. It's two breasts and no thighs. <laughs> Dolly Parton, you're not immune to the power of KISS. No, 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 Gene Simmons has been going on Dolly Parton rides long before Dollywood. <laughs> it's what the song God of Thunder's about, those giant tits just slamming together. <laughs> Majestic. <laughs> and on to our next member of the dais with huge cleavage, Axl Rose. <laughs> Who knew that Chinese democracy was written about your favorite buffet? <laughs> Go to GeneSimmonsBuffets.com <laughs> Took you 15 years to make that album. In that time, we made four albums and went on at least nine reunion tours. <laughs> it's a waste. Of course, with an album called The Spaghetti Incident, I suppose we should have seen this. Uh, you decline the Hall of Fame, which makes me wonder who the fuck decided you were famous. You had two songs. Kiss has had hundreds of famous songs. I buried your career in a Kiss coffin. Go to kisscoffins.com. You're not worthy to wash my spiky cod piece. Guns and Roses, more like tons of sodas. <laughs> Which is what Axel will soon be serving at Mean Jeans Chicken Wings. Go to MeanJeansChickenWings.com. <laughs> and finally, I would just like to say kiss my ass. <laughs> Out of my fucking microphone. I thought you'd be taller. All right. It's you. Fair enough. Uh, there's a saying that a lot of metal snobs have. Lemmy is God. 
Well, he's made me an atheist. Um, I just want to, I really just want to take a hatchet to your throat so every time you look up to your mo microphone, the pest can finally come out. Please put your hands together for Lemmy. <laughs> Welcome to the pig roast of Axel Rose. He, we said roast to him. He was thinking Arby's. <laughs> you, can you understand me? Because you can't fuck right off. I don't care. Uh, 21 records, 10 live albums. You know me from one song. I feel like dancing. <laughs> And he can't be here because you have to be this tall to roast this roast. <laughs> Skrillex couldn't be here because he didn't want his ass kicked by actual rock and rollers. <laughs> Dimebag Daryl couldn't be here because Cobain's here. And these days, Dime doesn't trust untrustable gun owners. <laughs> That's not as bad as the concerned parent that's here, because apparently there's somebody in Knox Comedy that's...